can we ever colonize mars and turn it into our second blue home could it be possible mars we are coming mars is in habitable zone in our solar system that's a plus point for us we can use mars for economic development by using its resources mars can help us to avoid human extinction just think how would it be if we could live on mars it's not simple like sending a lot of astronauts there and starting to build a colony and taking many more humans to mars and hooray we colonized mars but reality is much more complicated there are a lot of challenges we will face to build a mars colony there are some challenges which we don't yet have a perfect solution so make sure to stick around till the end landing as earth and mars are neighbor planets a trip to mars would take approximately 270 days once we get to mars the biggest challenge is landing what type of landing method should we use to land on mars nasa's perseverance rover landed using a parachute and a sky crane it was only 1 metric ton but when it comes to our crew they will carry additional stuff to study mars the rockets landers and other stuff should be powerful enough to land our crew if we want our mars mission crew to stay for at least 2 years the rockets will be very much heavier when compared to the rover if there is much weight then the rockets should be very very powerful they will use much fuel so our crew should be very less to decrease the weight like less than 10 people after that we can think about entering into two digits and later in hundreds because they also have to be well trained for space journey right so if we use giant retro thrusters big parachutes airbags and land some astronauts safely on mars could we live there that brings us to the challenge number 2 building a habitat there what type of habitation is best to survive on mars many organizations are still thinking but building a habitation is literally full of difficulties taking the required materials there is the biggest challenge but if it is all compatible then we could also use the materials on mars not completely but partially the habitats also have to be self sustaining sealed against the thin atmosphere and capable of supporting life for extended periods without support from earth but here is also a challenge how big that habitat should be and how much space is needed for each crew member could you imagine spending months in a small location so we have to build a habitat with larger space to live for inhabitants larger space means more materials required so however after 10 years or maybe 50 years after we build habitats on mars the basic requirements of inhabitants are food and water with that here comes our next challenge food and water we have to survive on mars right today mostly all the water on mars exists as ice it also exists in small quantities as vapor but where to get water and food from first let's tackle food the best food are veggies as they are the first producers the astronauts cannot take tons of food with them they have to grow plants they have to eat those veggies which grow in martian soil wait is martian soil suitable for growing plants the soil on mars does have the nutrients plants need there may not be the right amount of nutrients depending on the landing area so fertilizers may need to be added to the soil nasa is already developing a replication of mars soil to better understand the martian soil so it is okay but what else plants need sunlight The sunlight on Mars is relatively low when compared to Earth, but we can still grow some plants there. So we have food now. Then here comes water. Land also needs water and also carbon dioxide. Huh, there's plenty of it. On Mars, water can be extracted from the soil. Since Mars has gravity, water can be used in the same way as on Earth. Each astronaut will be able to use about 50 liters of water per day. The water will be recycled which takes less energy than extracting it from the martian soil so you may have a question now why don't we take much preservable food and water from earth we can't because it would take up fuel for it and the weight of the rocket will increase instead they can take more research stuff to study mars better but they have to take some food to store which will serve for emergency situations 
Everything seems perfect. Here are the problems. There isn't much oxygen in the atmosphere of Mars. Mars atmosphere is 96% carbon dioxide. So what's the solution? Moxie. Mars oxygen in situ resource utilization experiment can help us. It works by separating oxygen atoms from carbon dioxide molecules which are made up of one carbon atom and two oxygen atoms. A waste product. Carbon monoxide is emitted into the Martian atmosphere. NASA tested MOXIE in the Perseverance rover. MOXIE produced 5 grams of oxygen, equal to 10 minutes of breathable oxygen for an astronaut carrying out normal activity. We have to produce as much oxygen as we can in the habitat so that astronauts can remove their spacesuits and also to increase the oxygen in the atmosphere if possible. Okay, oxygen problem is solved, but Mars temperatures are colder than Earth's average temperature. The average temperature on Mars is minus 62 degrees Celsius. We have to use greenhouse gases, which were considered threat to Earth. They could be very useful for Mars. Greenhouse gases could heat Mars a little. Okay, temperatures are better now, but here come two big challenges which we don't yet have a perfect solution for. Enjoying the video? Then consider subscribing to the channel. Mars dust and radiation. Mars dust is dangerous. Martian dust can block the sunlight from reaching to the surface. Martian dust already killed NASA's Opportunity rover by covering its solar panels with dust. Martian dust is very fine and is made up of harmful chemicals. It is toxic with very high concentrations of perchlorate compounds containing chlorine. So how to deal with them? and how astronauts try not to breathe much of it. Scientists are still searching for a perfect solution. If there is a solution, they have to wear spacesuits the whole time, except when they are in the habitat, and most of the time robots and machines have to do the work outside. Now radiation. There is lack of a global magnetic field on Mars with the planet's thin atmosphere means that high-energy cosmic rays and solar particles will shower the Martian surface. Scientists are still searching for a perfect solution for this, even better than shielding astronauts and habitats with frozen CO2 and Martian soil. If some emergency happens on Mars, we can't help them because we have to wait two years to come into perfect place in the orbit for sending help to Mars. So with all this in consideration, Mars is not yet perfect for humans to be able to live there. But Mars colony is just some decades away to build. If we are lucky enough, we might see it happening. Building cities and industries on Mars, using Mars to colonize the solar system, and transforming Mars into our second blue home. I could have animated this video to explain it better, but I don't know animation yet, I don't have a proper software, and it's a very long time taking process. So maybe in future I will animate some of the scenes, hope it comes soon.